tori alaiso to ba ri oluran lowo o se se ko ma ku awon ti won ti lo ko lo wa saforiji fun o awa ta ku ke mi wa ogun ka pe lori ile oruko mi ni oju arowo safe ti gbogbo eyan mo si fade yi oloro ejo e ma je ki nlo bayi o ani ku fota yo ejo ko yo eyin na le o e di de ran lowo ni kia kia ko mo digba ti olodi mi ba lo tan le ma so pe sorry 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 le ma si je ori be o we have veteran actor fade yi oloro with us now for those of you who don't know fade yoloro fade yoloro that is it's a little better now. yeah yes i because i went to adjust the um the internet so i was saying i'm okay okay now i need you to do something for me mute the mic until he's ready to talk all right mute his mic until he's ready to talk so that they can hear me clearly all right awesome 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 so a lot of you do not know who fade yoloro is and the same thing happened with taste buds when i said taste buds do you know fade yoloro she said she didn't let me tell you how big fade yoloro was when we were growing up there was a Yoruba series. At that time, there was no Netflix. So our local channels used to show a Yoruba series called Arelu. That is what brought Fade Yoloro to the limelight. Arelu was so big that the streets would literally be quiet anytime. Fade Yoloro was on. And he was the lead character, or one of the lead characters, along with people like Jimo Aliu, Orishabumi, and so many others. Fade Yoloro glorified our culture by being one of the experts in incantations. The small incantations I learned in my life, I learned from Fade Yoloro. Eh, he is here he's going to he's going to show us um all these things if he has enough energy so to me father yoloro is part of the people that shaped my youth and my understanding of entertainment let me tell you how how big arelu was anytime Are it was showing on tuesdays in ibadan I think it was from 8.30 to 9.30. One of the sponsors was General Gas, if I remember clearly. I can remember the sponsors. Just I was, I was about eight years old. I was, about, I was between eight and ten. I can't be specific. But I know we're staying in old Ife Road back then. And do you realize that you could actually rob a house once Arelu was on because everybody will be watching Arelu. You will rob the house and they will not know until Arelu finishes. Especially towards the tail end when there was a face-off between Orishabumi and Fade Yoloro. And that is how he earned his place in many of our hearts. He, he was big and I'm going to bring him on to talk. I'm going to try to say what I've said in Yoruba 2 for the Yoruba audience. Um, if I had somebody like David O here, everywhere would be full. But sadly, we have forgotten our heroes past. Celebrate the heroes now, absolutely. But let us not forget the heroes past. So I hear his daughter is here with us. Um, Fade Yoloro is not feeling too well. Um, from what I heard, I'm going to allow him to speak. Um, so you can open, you can unmute so we can start the conversation. Yes, sir.